What's going on, everyone? Welcome back. I hope everybody's having a great day. Folks, my voice is getting a little bit better, but you're going to hear it's still a little crackly, still a little hoarse, but we're going to push through it. We're just going to take it easy on it because I got some exciting videos coming up. I got this one here from Mars Perseverance, and I believe this is Saw 178. And it's not so much what's in the foreground, but what's in the background. It looks to me like debris, things that have been thrashed around, piles of whatever, whatever it may be. It's right here on Mars, so we're going to check that out. And guys, I got some exciting videos coming up. I got Antarctica coming up. I also have a video coming out from a place on Earth. And the question will be, is it is it natural or is it the remains of Atlantis? Yeah, that one's coming up too. I know many of you folks have said, hey, why don't you do something here on Earth and, you know, see if you can pull something apart or you can find kind of the same thing that they're hiding stuff. Well, this one here is going to be no different than Antarctica because you guys know as well as I do, I've said this before where NASA literally have taken these photos of Antarctica. So guess what? They've doctored them up. So that one's coming up. We've actually covered some of this, but I brought out a whole lot more of it and a wider swath. So stay tuned for that. And that other one coming up right here from Earth. And I think you guys will agree it's not a natural formation. So stay tuned for these videos coming up, folks. All right. Like I said, folks, this is Perseverance, Saw 178. And you can find it here. Now, this photo has been floating around Facebook but, you know, they're not looking at the whole photo, and that's the problem. I, I like to go over the whole thing if I can, like many of you do, and you like to just uh, really jump into this and find any nook and cranny that you can. Now, what we're going to look at is all in this back edge, just below the skyline, and you'll find a lot of this is just really crazy and really mess with your head big time. So you can download it here. It is a 1288 by 968, and it's a PNG. Not the worst quality, but not the best, right? So let's just jump right into it. Again, you can download it here and get the photo yourself. Now let's just jump right into Photoshop and check it out. Here it is here. Now, folks, they want you to believe all of this up here is nothing more than a ridge, you know, just maybe layers of rock or mountains. It isn't. And as you'll see, once we get into this, there's a lot of features in there that really, yeah, they're not natural. All right. A couple of things I want to show you guys. Now, one of them here is right here. Almost looks like a small face to a building or some kind of wall with some features. I'm going to bring this out a whole lot better. Right here. And there's much, much more here, folks. But just going to point out a couple small things right off the bat. And you'll see what I'm talking about because this is cool. Here. I believe there's some stuff back here as well. This area. This is pretty neat because it has what looks like metallic pieces. There is something right here. And this is neat because it goes from what looks like this sloping area up into this other area right here. And again, I don't believe any of that's real at the top, but we'll get into that. Now, this piece I outlined, a couple questions come to mind. Is it something just sticking out of this sloping area and just raised up in the air or... Is it because they're actually manipulating and censoring out these layers? It gives you the illusion that it's flat ground up here, and it's, it's like a face of a sloping area down here. Is it? Again, we'll see once we do the, uh, the enhancements, right? As we go along, folks, you'll see a lot more in here, especially going down this area here. You'll find that this area here, and you can see it just a little bit just below this line right here. You can see some kind of wavy kind of features just under that. You can just see the outline to it. But we go all the way over here. And you're going to see that there's actual structures here, folks. Now, all of these rocks here in the, in the foreground with all these white areas, they're not rocks. These are manipulated. And you're going to see, I'm going to bring out some of these real quick. Especially, do you see these small circles and shapes within this item? Almost looks like it has an eagle head to it. We're going to do that. I'm going to show that to you first before we do the background. But you'll also notice something right here it has these horizontal lines going, but there's much more to this. I don't believe any of this area here is natural at all. And you'll see why, because I do bring out a couple things, like I said, in this right hand side. OK, so let's get into this. This rock outcropping here. 
Look at the funky lines in this, like I said earlier. Almost looks like it's got this eagle head with this beak on the left-hand side. I'm not saying that it is, but it has these weird lines and features in it right here. Now, if I do this and just give you the stock one, you'll see the lines, these curved lines right here. And you can see what looks like that almost like eye feature goes from the dark area into the light right here. Okay. Now I'm going to take the color off and just bring this down and just go one more step. And notice the lines now a little bit better. And I'm just going to bring it all the way out. I'm just going to bring those lines out. See that? I'm just going to go back and forth. You guys can pause it any way you want. You can see these lines. They are, in fact, in the photo. Okay. The other object here is just laying in the dirt over here. I find this pretty interesting. Right here. Look at the features to this. Right here, got what looks like a rectangular piece with an opening here and this small dot type thing. You can see that. Whoop, a little too far in. Let's do this. And you can see that right there. And there's more lines in this dirt, as you can see, like in this area right here, right there. Now, again, I'm going to go back and forth, and you can check this out for yourself. Yeah, the lines are there, folks. They're right there. The lines are there. Just bringing them out darker. That's all we're doing. If I was to go to the original, you can still see that. See that in there? You can still see them. Okay, that's some real strange-looking shapes for something that's supposed to be nothing but natural. Okay, let's do the full enhancement. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to circle some things and put some arrows so we can have a closer look. And again, this is all false. You can see the line of it going just like this. This brownish gray, call it what you will. Nothing more than an airbrushing. You can see it right here. And I tried to get through some of it. This way we could pull out as much as we can. Okay. All right, these objects right here. Again, they don't look natural. In fact, that arrow on the right looks like it's pointing to some kind of weird pipe with something underneath it. You can see this rectangular piece just underneath this. So I don't know how this thing's supposed to actually sit, but it actually goes like this and goes to the back and what looks like a pipe sitting on top of it. And you can see the rectangular piece that it's sitting on. It looks to be a lighter color, right? Here. Again, looks like that wall feature, that weird thing. And you can see that. Just lighten it up a little bit because you can see the outer edge of it, where it is. This other object, you can see it coming up, sloping down a little bit here. And then coming back down and it gets interrupted by this manipulation. But it's up here where this should be a flat ground. Right about here. It's supposed to be flat. But clearly it is not. See that? This thing is actually peeking up past that ground. Now, is it possible that thing is actually standing on, like I said, that sloped area and just sticking straight up in the air? Very good possibility. This stuff right here. Not sure what they even make of this. And you can see the line to that. But, however, they are very faint. See it? But they are, in fact, there. Moving to the right. This is where it starts to get more and more congested, where there's more straight lines, 90-degree angles, what look like pipes and just junk, just piles of whatever laying on the ground. Now, there's a lot of other things here, like these ledges. This one here, just above the one on the bottom. You can see where it has a curvature here. Right there. And you've got the lower ones as well. You can see right here where I tried to blast through this manipulation. You can see where it goes right here. It goes across. But I tried to lighten up to bring out the rest of this so-called object. And truthfully, I don't know what it is. You've got these other pieces. Now, again, 
This was the top here with that green arrow. As you can see, that very top green arrow. Now watch. Now you can see they're still there. Those lines are still there. All we're doing, get rid of the crap color and try to just bring the lines out. That's all we're doing. Okay? All right, let's move right along because this is where it really starts to get interesting. All at the top here in this red oval circle, you can see that. Those lines are, in fact, there. You can see that there. Right here. I'll go back and forth. And this object in the green, on the very bottom, it looks structural to me. And also to the right of that and up, we have these what look like objects or something inset uh, into this hill or a structure, whatever it may be. But clearly, this is not natural. And if you look at very faint, this green oval circle, if I was to do this, all you can see is the horizontal lines, but look carefully. They are, in fact, there. The lines, you can see this one here. Right here, it comes down, goes to the left, comes down here, and just a small part of it, something right here. And all you see is just a little bit of the edge of this, guys. You don't see a whole lot of it. Until you bring the lines out. Here, you can see this. I can see this really clear, in fact. Coming up, just like this here. Hits this corner. Goes across. Comes back down. Goes like this. And goes off to the back. There it is. It's right there. See that line? There they are. And the more you bring out these lines, the more they pop more and more and more. And that's the whole point. To get this stuff out. Now, to me, this doesn't look natural. Again, I'm going to put this right in this area. I'm going to put it right in the middle. Okay? And again, I'm going to go back and forth. you got to look really carefully, but they are, in fact, there. Yep. Now we'll get rid of the crap color and do that. You can see all up here, like I said, on the top, the lines that are there. All I'm doing is docketing the lines and bringing out any lines that may be in this photo. you got to remember, folks, underneath this, all this right here, you can see this is blurry. Right here. If you look, there's actually a good stretch where, right where the structure is. You can see right here, look carefully, there's a lot, and I mean a lot, of blurring or overlay on top of this. Once you burn through this and bring the lines out, this is what you get. Now, what that is, I don't know. It looks structural to me. And it looks like it's quite off in the distance. Got these pieces here. Not sure what to even make of this. They look like they're kind of running from the foreground into the background. So, again, trying to fool the eyes. Um, you don't know how large these objects really are. Get the lines out of there. I'm going to go from right to left. Guys, stop it wherever you like. To me, folks, this is nothing more than piles of artifacts, mechanical parts, whatever these things may be, I don't have a clue. But clearly, these don't look natural. They just don't. Now I'll go quickly back to the right with the arrows and, of course, the circled areas. Notice how in this red oval circle, you can see, like, one here, one structure. It looks like a structure. It looks like a box or some kind of rectangular piece with something coming out of it. And you can see one, two, three, four to the right of it. They look like they're doing the same thing. Again, I don't know what these are. Don't know the distance. But to me, these are structural and intelligently made. There you are, folks. Folks, what are we looking at here? I see what looks like debris or piles of junk. That area, and I'm going to call it the bottom of that crater area. It might have been a lake at one point. We don't know. But to me, that's all fake. You can always see these ripples in the sand and um, all of this BS as far as I'm concerned. 
And then you'll notice what looks like these artifacts along the edge of that, which you have like a sloping area. What could those be? They don't look natural to me. So it's either natural or unnatural. To me, they're unnatural. And of course, they're on Mars. And when you go to the right of that, you can see again where the yellow area is just below the skyline. It looks to me like they tried to make that look like it's the top of the ground. Then you have a sloping area with all the debris. And of course, they try to hide all of that too. But when you bring that stuff out, there's actually structures up there too. So is it all one piece and they're trying to make it look like a flat area and then a sloping area, but it's actually all vertical. You guys give me your comments. Give me your thoughts down below. Let me know what you think. Please like and share the video. And again, guys, I got some more crazy videos coming up. I've got Antarctica, thanks to Julia Galley. She's going to be completing her site. And she's been giving me these photos to work with. Got some real crazy stuff to show you. And you're definitely going to need your magnifier for this. Because even though I've made the photo bigger, they still make it really complicated to see the details. You'll see what I mean. And again, we got that area here on Earth. And I believe it might have been very large city, and it could have been Atlanta. So stay tuned for that. And we got more moon and Mars coming up. Again, stay tuned. And folks, don't forget to hit the thumbs up so that YouTube will share it. It is always greatly appreciated. Again, folks, thanks for watching. Glad to be back and rocking and rolling. And we'll see you in the next video. Peace, everyone.